the great resignation currently happening, it seems like everybody and their mama is just quitting their jobs and starting their business. Today I wanted to go over whether or not you should start your own photography business and quit your job. What are the pros and cons of having a photography business? My name is Krista Minch and last year I quit my job as a software engineer to start my own photography business and built a six figure business in just under a year. I am currently actually about $1,500 away from getting to six figures in sales for just 2021 alone. So in this video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of running your own business and hopefully it helps you decide whether or not starting a photography business is right for you. So let's talk about the first thing. A lot of people think starting a photography business means that you are just going to get to take photos all the time and unfortunately, that is just not true true running a photography business means that you are running a business so about 90 percent of the time will go into business factors um marketing contacting clients emailing clients you know setting up your website and your crm and your communication all those things take up so much time running a photography business means that you have to run your business first right it's just not about taking photos it's not just about taking good photos i have seen so many people comment in different facebook groups i just want to be able to take photos and i don't want to have to worry about all the business stuff it's like okay well you probably shouldn't be running a photography business if that is your goal business is what brings in money you can't run a sustainable business if you're not going to be profitable so that means a lot of time is going to be have to spent building your business building your brand and a lot of these things that really aren't fun for each client I get I'm only photographing them for one hour but I have to spend hours editing communicating with them on phone calls with them setting up payments um, answering their questions all of that goes into just one client where a majority of the hours spent on that client aren't even photographing them this is definitely a big thing to think about if you're wanting to start a photography business okay the second thing is money okay so if you are making a fifty thousand dollar salary that is not the same as doing fifty thousand dollars in sales so let's just put up some examples for each side so if you're a salaried employee, chances are that your company is paying for a majority, a majority of your health insurance versus if you are self-employed, now you are paying for your health insurance. And oh my gosh, health insurance is so freaking expensive. I can tell you that right now. Um, I've paid anywhere between $300 to $500 a month for health insurance, okay? And dental insurance and eye insurance now all of those things have to come directly out of your pocket. On top of that, of course, you have your regular expenses for both, but then you also have your business expenses as well. So your camera, any props that you have, your studio location, um, if you have a client closet, any contractors that you might have to pay to help run your business, all of those are now taken out of your sales that you make whereas if you are a salaried person who's not running a business you're not paying those additional expenses on top of that and then of course you have taxes for both of those um, and being self-employed depending on how you run your business whether that is a sole proprietorship or whether you're being taxed as like an s corp those are going to be different um, but let's just say for the sake of example sake that taxes are roughly the same for each. Running a business is still more costly than being a salaried employee. So if you're running your business, just remember that you have to make more money to make up for that amount you're spending and investing into your business than you would if you are just a salaried employee. Okay, taking no's personally. When you are in a creative space and somebody tells you, you know what, 
I've decided I don't want to book with you, that you can take that extremely personally. This is something that I've experienced and it's something that you have to learn to get over. But if you're in a corporate job, if somebody like tells you no, chances are you're like, okay, it's the comp, like this is either company policy or there's, you know, different levels of different responsibility that each person takes when it comes to a project. But when you are your business and your work is your business, no's hit really, really hard. And there was a time where I let this affect me so heavily. If somebody would set up an inquiry call with me and they wouldn't book, I would just be so devastated and take it so personally. When you are running your own business, the nose hit a little bit harder, especially in the beginning. Now I'm to a point where people, when people say no, people tell me they decide not to book. I'm like, okay, that's great because chances are they're more likely to book in the future now that they have that information and I've just created a hot lead basically that is more likely to book in the future. So these are just things that you have to think about and take into consideration um, when you're deciding whether or not you want to start a photography business. Okay. So let's talk about getting consistent clients. This is something that a lot of photographers struggle with. This is something that I used to struggle with for a long time and I've built some systems into place that are easing this for me. But when you run your own business, it is 100% on you to get those booking clients. All right, when you work in a salaried job, all you have to do is show up from like 8.30 to five and you know that you're gonna get paid. But when you are running your own business, every single dollar that comes in depends on you and how hard you work and how good you work, because you can work hard and not good. But it depends on how well you work, how good you are at getting consistent clients. So how much money you make and whether or not your business is successful is 100% on you. And that's a lot of freaking pressure, okay? And it can be hard and it can take a toll on you. I think I've mentioned this in a couple videos, but I've cried a lot of times about running my business, so many times, more times than I would like to admit because it's hard. Um, and when you're not getting clients, it's hard to look at your business objectively. Again, just like with the nose, it's really hard to look at things objectively when you and your creative work um, are your business. Right, so when everything's on you, that pressure can be extremely hard and heavy and weigh on you. And it takes a lot of passion and a lot of gusto is it? Um, to push past that and keep working and keep building your business. So my last point I want to make is when you run your own photography business, you're now in charge of everything, right? You are the customer service, you're the photographer, you're the editor, you are everything. And when something goes wrong, that means it's your responsibility. When you work in a corporate setting, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of times responsibilities are tiered. So let's say you're working on a big project and it fails, chances are, unless you are super high up in management, that is not going to be put on you. Somebody else higher up might get fired, but if you showed up to work every day and put in the work towards that project, whatever was needed, whatever you were told to do, chances are that project failing won't affect you. But when you are running your own business, if something fails, that affects you. I've made mistakes, I, and it's hard. It's hard to fix mistakes. Um, because we definitely live in a digital world where if something bad happens, uh, if you make a mistake with a client, their reaction could really, really, really negatively affect your business and that is terrifying. So all the mistakes are on you. Even if you have other employees, all the mistakes are on you. And speaking of other employees, if you hire contractors, if you hire employees, you are now their boss. So not only are you running a business, you are now the boss of other people, you are now managing other people, and that's a huge responsibility. Running a photography business is so much more than just taking amazing photos. So many people take amazing photos, but do not know how to run a business, right? 
I spend so much time learning the business aspect because I know my photography is to a point where it's good enough to have a business. Now I need to know how to run that business. So if you are thinking about starting a photography business, make sure your photos are good. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be the best. They need to be good and then figure out how to run the business part because the business part is gonna determine whether or not you're successful. Like I said, so many people take amazing, amazing, amazing photos. Photos I probably could never even achieve to take in my career, but don't know how to run a business and they think, their business is failing because their photos aren't good enough. And a lot of times it's because they just don't understand the importance of running a, a consistent, successful, profitable business. So if I hope this video helped you decide whether or not running a photography business is right for you. It is definitely, definitely, definitely a lot of hard work, but you can do it and you can be successful at it because guess what? There are a ton of people running successful photography businesses and if somebody else has done it, that means you can do it too. You just have to learn the right steps to take to do that. And I have shared and hope to continue to share some of those steps to building a successful photography business right here on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of photography business content do you want to see um you can make sure to go follow me on instagram at kristen minch and i will see you in the next one bye